Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these adorable little shamrocks, little four leaf clovers. What you'll need a four millimeter crochet hook, some green yarn, you can use a paler one or a darker one, and a pair of scissors. To start your shamrock, you're going to make a loop in your yarn, and with your crochet hook, we're going to start by chaining four. One, two, three, four. Into the first stitch, we're going to do two double trebles, also known as a triple crochet. We do this stitch by yarning over once, twice, and then push, putting the hook into the first stitch like so. Okay, yarn over, pulling it through. Now we're going to go through two at a time. Through two, yarn over, through two, yarn over, through two. And that is called a double treble or a triple crochet, depending on where you're from. We're going to repeat this one more time. Yarn over, yarn over, through the first stitch, yarn over, through two, through two and through two. To finish off the first part of our shamrock, we're now going to chain three. One, two, three. Taking your hook, place it back down into the first stitch. Yarn over, pull it through and just do a single crochet. And as you can see, this makes one of our four shamrock petals. Now we're going to repeat this with the other three. Yarn over, we're going to chain three, yarn over twice through the first stitch, yarn over, you should now have four on the hook. We're going to yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over again through two. Repeat this stitch, And to finish off our second shamrock leaf, we're going to chain three. Then place your hook back through the first stitch, yarn over, and then yarn over again. This single crochet anchors the petal, giving it a nice form. Now we're going to repeat this another two times to create our four leaf shamrock chain three and then two triple crochets. Now we're up to our last stitch. We're still working into that very first chain. One. Two. And three chain. And a single crochet to finish. So you should have four. leaves on your shamrock. You can finish it here if you like, but I prefer to crochet a little tight chain and that just gives it a stalk. To do this I swap to a smaller hook down about a size because I find it easier to make a tighter chain this way. So just turn it over and any number of chains you like. About 10 should do it. Then simply cut your thread, 
pull the thread through to secure off and I like to trim down to about half an inch. You can even tease this out if you like. And just use a uh, tapestry needle to neaten up this loose end and tie it at the back. And there you have your four leaf clover. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. <music>